Hi guys, welcome back again to another video. My name is Liliana Sunobu. If you are seeing this face for the very first time, you are clicking on this video like on my channel for the very first time, please kindly hit on the subscribe icon. Click on the post notification to keep you updated. And if you are my returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. And please leave a comment for me. Hit the like icon also. And if you haven't subscribed and you are my returning subscribers, please hit the subscribe icon. So on today's video, as you can tell by the title of the video, like I've seen some things I'm not supposed to be seeing online because it's really, really frustrating. I don't know why some parents are really doing this. And they are doing this because they think, oh, this is the right way. I know I've not like yet given birth, but ah, there are some things you, you say, ah, this one is bad, no wrong, it's bad. Ah, ah, let's be let, let's be truthful. And now, number one uh, uh, thing I'm going to be saying, what parents are doing that they don't know is really really affecting their kids, is your kids will be with you. Yeah, your picking will join you see that, and you go then do course. Hey. You are stupid. You are this one. The, when your kids are there, when your child is there, when your child is with you, like when your child is there, never you say a cross word in their presence because now kids tend to like uh, pick up the bad thing on time than the good ones. Never you say a cross word in their presence. If they are not there or you want to talk to someone and you notice they are there, say, tell them, oh, uh go back to your room or uh, go to your room and start reading or go outside to go play before you say what you want to say because as you keep on saying it you would think he's not picking anything no. <sighs> if they store for head you would think he's not picking he's really really storing it in his head in her head or in his in, in his uh in his head so it would be like storing it and when you you'll be surprised when they will say you stupid you're useless. You're this. You go surprise yourself. Ah, where is speaking for Lena? You fucker say you don't they blah blah. They cause they say uh, cause for for a present. You don't go no say now nah, you cause some. <laughs> you don't go no. So you go begin to talk. Say ah, ah ah. Come come here, Junior. Where did you get? Where did, why did you say this? Ah, uh, where did you hear that from? Now nah, you talking for a present. Now nah, you back up, pick him up. Now nah, you, now nah, you talking for a present. Unless you carry him for school. <laughs> But I, I will tell you, say, even if say if they go to school, yeah, you know, say you said you won't talk and you're picking that there, you want cause person or you want to say uh, uh, hurtful, like you want to say hateful things, things you know that is not good when uh, it's not good on children's ears, don't say it. Tell them to go inside or better, like, make sure you just keep your mouth shut, don't say it. So, number two, always. Teach them how to say thank you whenever someone give them something. Some people now, some kids, you will just give them money or you give them a gift. So they don't look like a zombie. Yeah. They're not going to say thank you. <laughs> They're not going to say thank you because you didn't teach them how to. You did not. They'll just collect them. They don't want to come on. And why some kids, when you give them something, will be, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, auntie. Thank you, uncle. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, mommy. Like, some kids do that because their parents taught them what? They teach them uh, how to say thank you whenever someone gives them something. Whenever, even if now you give them the something, they will say thank you because they teach them how to. But because now some parents, they don't do that, they will just give them a junior, junior. Uh, they give and uh, say, it, it come out. They don't officially mean they call and come back and say, Say thank you and tell them in that, that, in that moment, tell them anytime someone gives you something, always say thank you. Yeah. And they go pick them up. Next time you will call them, give them something, say thank you, daddy. Thank you, mommy. You don't tell them one thing, like another thing with that. But three things when we say the thing just they like. It just they make now it just make me say I won't do this video. It just they make me best. They make me best. Picking up a one year old, you will see say they, they don't they face front and front. They go like, pss, 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 pull front up for her. Picking up one year, picking whenever it's a two, a, a three, a, 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 this thing, a, a, a ten years. You don't pull front up for your head because you want to celebrate birthday. Waiting happen. Now let you born. Waiting, waiting happen. You want just brain, brain never heal, finish. You get, you guys know that 
a newborn, even if the baby is uh, one year old or two years old, their brain is still human. Yeah, yeah, it's still human. If you if you look at it, it's still like uh uh uh, uh what is it called? Uh, beating or what did they call her? It's still human. But because they want to celebrate one year birthday, you can go put front. Her. Some if now if not get they go put front her for her head. Or if they not do that one, they go do her step for attachment. When they say go, they draw their break. Pa, 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 pa. What's it happen? You go just they draw their breath. If na uh, if na boy, you will see say they don't bleach. They go pull a uh, bleaching thing for your hair. They, they don't bleach your hair white. If they don't bleach and white, they will come pour another color because say they want to celebrate. But they wait here. Waiting. Now that one go say me your picky time. Picky one don't work. Don't work. Now I nobody go say. Nobody that one go tell and say me if I mean okay. Always like don't start wearing them adult things. Let them get to like. Teenage, uh, let there be a teenager first, or what is it they call her? When they reach that teenage uh, 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 time, before you go, they like do all those things for them. Don't just like because you want to celebrate something or you want to do Christmas or this thing, you start like a a, a child of uh, uh, one year, two years, you start drawing their hair because ah, uh, uh, you know, they, you get, we should stop it. The one I saw, like, even the girl was crying, the little baby was crying. They, they put front and forehead. After they don't even pull it, front and finish. The beauty is, you know, come out. Let me say, they, no, you know, come out. There are some children hairstyles that put bead. When you go do, people, ah, ah, this hair, fine, no, 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 you don't want to do that. One. You won't just carry out entire adult food immediately. No, just push them. You don't want to do waiting some other children they do. You won't just push them enter adult, adult food. Ah, ah, all wrong now. Check them out. If I'm, if you know that I'm not like what I'm saying, what I'm saying is not is wrong. It's good for you now you're picking. But if you know you still have other things to like say uh, or what mothers are doing, you can leave your uh, uh you can drop your comments on the comment and section. Number four, teach them not to bully other kids in school. Teach them not to bully other kids at home. <laughs> The children bullying other kids. Now, Mama Bonde, I've been on good Bonde. You, you, uh, you, you send your, you, you, you as a parent, you, for you to send your kids to school, you'll be scared because you don't want other kids to bully your, 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 your child. And the people bullying other people, uh, uh, kids, their parents won't say, oh, don't do this. It's bad to bully other, uh, 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 other uh, 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 kids. Don't do this to them. Be nice. Yeah, always tell them. Some you will go to school. Now so they go say this one. I have like people have been people have been saying it. They always bully their kids in school. Our parents are scared, and the parents that their kids are bullying other uh, uh, kids, they don't say anything. They'll be like, oh, they are still kids. They don't know anything yet. Once uh, when they grow, they are going to like learn something. They are going to stop doing. You know, they will never stop doing it too. If you are a bully, like if the kids now only few they stop them. If you know, say you're picking the bully, they don't come tell you, principal don't call you, uh, the headmaster don't call you, or Bobo don't call you, say and you're picking, see what they do, they bully another person picking. Call him to others, call her to other. Tell him, tell her, this is what you should do. Don't do this. It's very wrong for you to bully another uh, uh, kids in school. It's very, very uh, uh, bad. Don't do it. No, so I'm not going to talk. Oh. They'll say, it's this son. If you don't, you don't pet and pet and pet and pet and finish now. You don't pass, uh, you don't reach a teenage, uh, this thing. You don't pass your hand. You're going to say, ah, now me born you. Am I the one that gave birth to you? I'm talking to you and you are walking away. Ah, they will walk away. They will walk away because this is what you taught them when they were little. You didn't teach them how to like be, uh, how to uh, uh, stop, uh, how to be respectful. How to not uh, uh, bully other kids. You didn't teach them when they were little. So when they finally grow, you will be the one to suffer. Yeah, you will be like the one to suffer from it because you they stay with them for us. You go see they suffer from the thing when they did a uh, uh, share for us. Like the bullying is doing outside, she's doing outside. You like you'll be like you'll partake on it. You'll be getting it too. So always make sure to tell them. This is this. Don't go to school and start saying, "Oh, my dad is rich." My dad. no, don't do it. Tell them not to do it. 
Now, where they start from is when they will start saying, oh, my dad is rich. Look at my dad has a big house, this and this. From there, they'll say, oh, what? Uh, when you maybe say, uh, the people maybe say, Papa, no, you get anything. That one, they look like uh, this thing. And from there, you will come there because say you don't know, say, okay, this one, uh, you know, they up. Kids know that they will know that this uh, other uh, one is not up to their level. They will start bullying him. They will start bullying her. Yeah, that is when it starts. So if you don't tell them to stop doing it, that if you know that they have called you and say, oh, look at what your daughter is doing, look at what your son is doing, and you don't call them to order, you are going to get it in the future. It's going to affect the mother, affect the father in the future. Yeah, it's going to. It's going to. Number five, when we say, now this one, now parents, they do, when they are picking go come grow, they don't go get that connection with their parents. Yeah. Now this one, parents, they do. So now, you give birth. You and some people think that once they carry the baby for nine months and they finally deliver the baby, oh, they are now a mother. No. You guess. <laughs> No, no, that one, mother will never ever start. And now that communication part, once you finish, like you, you, you said, oh, I've carried him, carried the baby for nine months, I finally delivered. And you just like, you just give your, your once you finally uh, give birth, now the kid is like four months after breastfeed, even so not the breastfeed, and that not, I don't want to talk about that one, that not concern me. But you're giving, leaving your child for, your maid, your house help, and you leave them. No, I, I, I didn't say leaving them with their uh, nannies is bad. It's not. But where is bad is that when you leave them with the, your nannies, if you know you are going back to work, and before you go uh, go to work, always go meet them, chat with them before you go. And when you come back, chat with them. Oh, what did they teach you in school today? This and always communicate. Also, always make sure to tell them, be, like, feel free to tell me what happened uh, to you in school, what happened when you went out. Like, you guys should be just discussing, oh, mommy, like, this thing happened to me. Like, you guys should have that good communication. Like, you guys should communi communicate. It really is really, really good. It helps also. But, you know, in our African home, I know some people are like, the African mothers and fathers are really stopping that. Because, you know, when I was still growing up, I won't like I won't dare to go meet I won't dare to go meet my mommy and start saying, Oh mommy, uh this is this, uh, uh I want to do this. No. You know go there. Or you tell and say, Oh mommy, I have a boyfriend. Which one you wanted? <laughs> Which one? But now some people when uh, yeah, you're, and even when you tell them, Oh, feel free to communicate with me. Even when you tell them that, and they come and tell you, "Oh, mom, this is what this is what I did. Uh, what did you th don't shout? Don't start hitting. No. See, as the, if the kid was able to summon that coil, like able to talk to you about the things he or she is going through, or what about the things he or she did, tell them, "Oh, this is how you will go about it. This is how you. Will, this is what you will do." If you upset someone, oh mom, my friend is no longer talking to me because of because I did this. Tell him if the if your child is wrong, tell him go and apologize to your friend. But if the friend is wrong, tell him you right. You don't need to apologize. He's he or she is the one that is wrong, so he should be the one to apologize. There are some things you like just say, and if they should notice how you help them with the issues, you help them with what they came to like ask you what like you help them out with it they will keep on coming and they will be like you you see some children saying my mom is my best friend my dad is my best friend yeah some kids and some people say that my mom is my best friend my dad is my best friend why some people say oh my dad is very strict this and this ah, you dare not do this yeah so because i just decided to come and like it's really really getting out of hand guys it's really really getting out of hand and I would say, if you still have other things to add to what I've said, feel free to drop it on the comment section. I'm going to reply you. And guys, if you have, if you really enjoyed this video, uh, please don't forget, before you go, don't forget to hit on the subscribe icon. Click on the post notification to keep you updated. Help me share this video, yeah? Help me share this video and leave your comment on the comment section. 
I love you guys. See you guys on my next video. Bye.